This is the plaintiff, Loquita Maxwell. She says she went to the defendant's salon to have her eyebrows tweezed, and the defendant asked her if she wanted the hair on her upper lip removed as well. After the procedure called threading, she looked in the mirror and noticed her lip was bleeding, and upon further inspection also noticed her mole was missing. She's outraged because removing a mole should be done by a doctor, not a two-bit aesthetician at a hair salon. She's suing for $5,000 for being personally injured. This is the defendant, Pretty Jane. She says she most definitely did not remove a mole from the plaintiff's face. She would absolutely notice something like that. She has no idea what the plaintiff's trying to pull by filing this lawsuit and thinks the judge is going to agree. She's accused of making a mole whole. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant removed a mole during an eyebrow tweeze, and she wasn't licensed to do that. But the defendant says she didn't remove it. It's the case of making a mountain out of a mole. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Laquita Maxwell, you are suing Pretty Jane for five thousand dollars that you say she owes you because she accidentally threaded a mole of yours while she was threading your upper lip. Do tell what happened. Yes, I went into the salon to get my eyebrows tinted originally. And as she put the dye on my eyebrows, I guess she noticed that I had upper lip hair. So she asked if I wanted her to remove it. That's something I've never done before. So um, as she's threading, of course it hurts. Okay, so let's describe threading to explain how that procedure works. Threading is a simple soft cotton organic thread, which when we use in our salon, I never saw thread give anybody stoop pain because thread never touched the skin. That's why it's not true how she's saying first. Well, but a mole first. would be raised, so if the thread is there, it could no, conceivably because, what she's saying could no, happen. No, because I saw her face. There's so many moles on her face. Whenever any customer enter in my salon, we have very, very careful for that customer. Especially in that case, we saw so many moles on her face. I took double precaution. She said, I want to do the thread, okay. thre eyebrow threading, and the upper lips, and the facial. And I did the uh, eyebrow threading. I don't care about the other stuff, so let's okay. talk about the threading, OK? How does threading work? Uh, do you have thread? He I keeps telling you to show me. If you have the thread, I have the thread. Show me, but don't show, show me on me. I have. I'm nice <laughs> and bare. What's that? I can show on my daughter. She has the mole. OK, yes. You have the hair over here. Okay, so hold on, hold on. All right, so the One thread's in your mouth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is that how everybody does it with yeah, the thread in the mouth? Everybody, everybody. Everybody this is does a way it? to do. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> so it's just a regular piece of thread? Re regular soft organic cotton thread. Okay. This is a... Just a regular thread that reg somebody would use to sew? No, it's a special thread, organic special thread for the oh, eyebrow it, threading okay. for the upper lip. Okay, what do you do this for? I'm sorry that I made you the guinea pig here. Now I feel bad. <laughs> how old are you? Ah, oh, jeez. I'm doing this to a 14-year-old. Like a chicken pecking. <laughs> so each time you're doing that, a hair is coming off? Yeah. yeah, every time. Have to become. If there's no hair come, it means I'm not, not a good trader. OK. And I have more than 30 years experience. This is my gene. My grandma is was threader, my mom. Now me, I think in the future, my daughter. Oh, too. that kind of just hit around here. No, in India is a very ancient uh, method, uh, of... method to do with the thread because it's easy and softer, better than the wax and better than the plucker. OK, so while I'm down here, I'm going to take okay. a close look at your face. So okay. step around. OK, so let's go back and let's talk to me and tell me what happened that you're so mad about that you demand that she pay you $5,000. So what's better in terms of removing hair, threading or wax? Who knows this? Who knows this? Threading's better. Why is that? It's more effective. It gets more hair quicker. So. Do, you, do people actually put wax in their eyebrows? Yeah. Ah! Really? Yeah, I don't do that, though. <laughs> Oh, what happened to little r Batman here? Uh, he spoke really loud, and so he scared Do 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 Batman. I have a way with kids. 
going inside the courtroom. Yes, I'm very upset. Um, after she finished threading, she gave me a mirror to look at her finished work. So when I'm looking in the mirror, I see blood. So I'm wondering, why didn't you tell me I was bleeding? So I said, Miss, I'm bleeding. She said, oh, would you like some tissue? I said, yes, of course. So she gave me the tissue and I... How much blood were you seeing? It was, maybe it was a dot. Oh. A dot. Um, so I patted, I didn't pat, I just pressed down on the, the blooded area. So when I removed the tissue, I saw that my mole was gone. I said, Miss, my mole is gone. What kind of a mole was this? It was an outward mold. It did stick out. I do have pictures to show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Let me see that. Was it dark? Was it light? Was it a skin tag? Was it, what was it? I guess it looked more like a skin tag. You can tell from the pictures I had before and after pictures. I also have pictures of the blood. Where was it? That little dot right there? Yes. Okay, so it, it is did darker stick than, out. Your pi than your, the pigment of your skin. Very visible. Okay, it is visible and it was raised like a skin tag. And yes. you're upset because when she threaded it, it's now gone. Yes. Is this it? Yes. That's a skin tag. I'm surprised you're not thanking her. Most people don't want to keep a skin tag. It, I, it was a mole. I have several moles on my face. You do. You have uh, tiny, dark, charming little moles. Um, that, however, this is something that you wanted to keep in your appearance, I guess. It's your Absolutely. right, that's your face. Okay. Um, did you not see this on her face? This mole on that time, because whenever, especially this kind of customer, ma'am, come in my saloon, I told you I'm very, very careful. And Can I, I, told I, just, her, I asked a simple no, question. I didn't, I didn't see, ma'am. Okay, because it's, it's kind of no noticeable. It's I no more tell appear you. over there. And okay, here, okay, show the picture. Okay, because it's kind of noticeable, right? Yeah, it's noticeable over there, but when she come to me, when she sit on my chair, is no mole over there. When I did the thread, I told her, please, ma'am, stretch your upper lip part. All right, well, let me ask you this. Let's assume for a moment that there was some negligence on her part, that she uh, saw your skin tag, pulled your skin tag off, that she's negligent. Let's assume that for a moment. Please understand that in every lawsuit, there are two parts. One is, that side did me wrong. And the other is, I am damaged because of it. So one of the things that you say in your complaint is, you know, this isn't supposed to be happening in a salon. This should happen with a doctor or whatever else. I agree with you. But have you gone to see a doctor to see if there's any deficit to you other than you liked your skin tag? Yes, I did go. I was trying to make appointments with a dermatologist, but the appointment dates were well into July. So you didn't go. Do you I, have something from a doctor for me to prove damages to you? Yes, I did go to an urgent care center and they did prescribe antibiotics. Okay, will you hand it to me? Um, okay. Other than prescribing antibiotics, which is of course prescribed to make sure that there's no infection, uh, do you have a report? Let's see what they have. Are you out of pocket anything from the urgent care visit? No. You didn't have to pay for it? No, my insurance. Skin irritation. Okay, what was the date of this event? April the 28th. What was the date you went to the doctor? I went this past Saturday. You mean right before coming to court? Yes. <laughs> so this wasn't so bad that you needed to go to a doctor right after April 28th? Well, like I said, I was trying to make appointments with the dermatologist, and I couldn't get one that was current enough. I have to tell you, Ms. Maxwell, this sounds um, like you're attempting to use the judicial system to cash in, because I'm not seeing where the damages are. You, uh, when you say you went to urgent care, it wasn't urgent. You went right before court so that you could show that you went to the dermatologist with, quote, skin irritation. That is all this document says. I think you are, pardon the pun, making a mountain out of a molehill. You really are. And you're doing it because you want to cash in on something that may or may not have happened. I think it probably did. But I just, I just don't see how you're damaged. Um, you know, I would kind of be thanking her. I think you look beautiful. Uh, but so However, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't get, this is not what a court case is about. You know, you don't like what happened there, don't go there again. You know, write a Yelp review, do whatever you think makes you feel empowered. But this is not a reason for a judge to look at her and say, hand over $5,000, lady. I'm not gonna do it. Verdict for the defendant. Thank right. you, well, thank you so much. Thank you. 
So, in effect, Judge Millian thinks the plaintiff is trying to pull a fast one here in court. What do you think about that decision? I am not pleased with that decision at all because a mold is something that you cannot get back. And to have someone as inexperienced as she is to just rip it off of your face, I don't think that's fair at all. Don't you think there would have been a lot more bleeding or something? You really would have had to needed more medical attention if a mold was, was pulled off your face right away, which well, apparently you didn't have done? Well, the pictures indicated that a mole was, or even if she's calling it a skin tag, it was ripped off of my face without my permission. Well, the judge certainly didn't agree that it was worth $5,000, okay? And I don't agree with her, and that's okay. That's okay. You can, you're free to disagree. I'm alive. Thank you very much. You are thank alive. You. Yes, thank, thank goodness. All right, here comes the defendant now. I presume you feel much better, I don't you? you? Yeah. yeah. yeah thank um, you. Does this happen thank very often? Judge. <laughs> First time I'm seeing in this case, I have 30, more than 30 years experience in my life. I've never saw this kind of case in my life. Even over here I'm doing it, back home in India I did yeah. it. Everyone is very, very happy with me because my hand is very soft hand. If you want threading, come in my salon, Pretty Beauty Salon, I can do it for you. <laughs> thank you, and thanks for the lesson on what threading is all about. Yeah, okay. thank you. I would assume you could shave too, couldn't you? <laughs> and upper lips, yeah. yeah, and you can do the full face too. That's what and I, I thought. Give you free massage. Okay. No All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Harvey, we all learned something in this case. How about that? Okay. The kid left. The kid hates me that much. They left. Uh, there's an old principle in the law. Um, I'll give you a little Latin term. It's called de minimis non curat lex, which means the law does not cure small things. That means if it's a tiny little mistake, tough luck. Now we'll do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.